thing, which is uh, BCEC uh, Brilliant Christmas Easy Crafts. Now, if you didn't know this before, Brilliant Christmas Easy Crafts is BCEC as well. And today we have our own craft specialist, uh, Carter, uh, and he's going to demonstrate a craft for us to do. So if you want, you can go ahead and grab paper and do it along. Let's head over to Carter now. Good morning, church. Um, those who don't know me, it's Carter. And uh, today I'm a reindeer. Um, and today I'll be showing you how to make um, this borderline brilliant, but definitely easy craft, uh, which is a little frame which you can hang on your Christmas tree for those of you who um, like to decorate your trees or just your house in general for Christmas time. Um, and they're great because um, I'm not sure if you can see my desk. Um, but they are made from an envelope, which I think is great to be upcycling and recycling all we can in this season. And I'm sure everyone has plenty of these lying around, um, whether it be bills or mildly threatening council letter taxes, council tax letters. Uh, but yeah, so we'll be using this today to make us some um, beautiful frames that share some of our favorite photos on the tree. Um, here are the stuff, some of the stuff you'll need. So you need some tape, some decorating things, some string, some glue's optional, depends if you like gluing or not. Um, I've got this really industrial looking hole punch. Some scissors, you don't need a mouse. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Uh, so you basically wanna cut the window out uh, in any way you can. And ideally cut out any threatening words that say do not ignore this letter. So once you do that, we'll get the project started. Uh, I quite like how this is Birmingham City Council here. Uh, so I may use that later, but you can really just, it's quite flexible craft this. Uh, there's not much, too much rhyme or reason. Um, and once you've done that, you tape up the edges. You could fold it over, look a bit neater, but I've decided not to because um, I quite like rustic look. And also I learned recently that um, crafts is really, made me appreciate the beauty and imperfection. Um, so I'm going to be just taping the edges here. Once you've done this, you can have all free, complete creative freedom to do whatever you want, really, in terms of decoration. Uh, so I've got some pens here, so I might just draw a little snowflake, perhaps. Um, I've got a little green pen here, which naturally just screams Christmas tree. I was panicked recently because I was like, yo, there's so many Christmas trees being cut down. And I was like, I'm not supporting this. But then I Googled it and actually three get planted in the UK for everyone that's cut down. So if you're supporting that, that's good despite it takes 15 years for them to grow, but we will reap the benefits eventually. Um, and then, yeah, don't forget to decorate the back. Um, I might write I owe the old Merry Christmas um, in blue to represent the cold weather that we experience here in the UK. Um, and after that, all you need is a flattering photo of a flatmate or a friend or a family member. I've got one here of my ex-housemate Josh Lay um with a ketchup bottle which adds festivities i guess and then using a hole punch uh hole punch a thing at the top and the final step is to cut some string tie it in a small knot We had, we had a house Christmas dinner the other day, and I was shocked to find out the recommended portion for pigs and blankets is two to three. That was shocking after eating seven pigs and blankets. Um, the piece of string is as long as you want it to be, and this really does depend on how long you want your decoration to be. So if you want it on the floor, perhaps, hanging from the top of the tree, four meters. If you want it just clinging onto the branch, shorter will do. Uh, so yeah, you tie a loop, poke it through the hole, and then you pull it through, and that's ready for you to hang on the tree. 
Um, you can get really creative with this. You can cover it with pens. I got a bit crazy here with washi tape. It's also great because you can um, stick little things on the frame. Um, I'm not sure which cover it's on. Um, and it doesn't damage the photo. So it turns a photo to a festive photo. Uh, but yes, this has been my short crafting segment with my um, borderline brilliant crafts. <laughs> I think BB, CEC, I think um, that's what we'll call this. But yes, thank you all for watching. Merry Christmas. Oh, that's fantastic. You know, should we all give like Conker such a round of applause? He just comes up with these things. It's so, 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 so good. Um, <laughs> it was so good. I think Carter is like, I personally, I feel like he's so good at this, even while he's speaking and he's doing these crafts. I feel like for a moment I was transported to actually like Blue Peter and I was doing this, except it was a Chinese person making crafts. And I was like, this is amazing. What's also amazing is that I've never seen Blue Peter because I didn't grow up in this country. Next up, we're going to head.